I mean, it is what it is, you know. Um, it's COVID. This is the first time that the entire world has had the exact same problem. I mean, we just have to deal with it, you know. It's not just happening for Americans. It's not just happening for the poor. Rich, rich people catching it. You understand? It, this, this, this can attack anybody. So it's something we all got to pay attention to. A, a lot of people are looking at this the wrong way. There is a blessing in everything. Behind every moment of adversity in your life, there is a blessing and a lesson. Every moment of adversity has those two things. Pain always leaves a gift. Always. It, it's not going to change for you. It's COVID for everybody. Say just you. Your world 42 ain't finna crumble because you got to change your career. You have to change your career. You just said it in the question. Maybe it was time for you to move on. Somebody sent me a plaque today that, one day that said, uh, don't worry about the people that God has removed from your life. He saw things you didn't see. He heard conversations you couldn't hear. And he saw he made moves you wouldn't make. And that's it. So when COVID happens, people get, oh, this door closed, my business closed, my job closed. When, when a door gets shut, all you got to do is walk up the hall. It's more doors. You, this is God. God is, he's everything, man. He got everything. You ain't got to worry about because your company closed. This ain't the only company. Could it be that he's setting you up for an upward move? But now, if you're going to stay there and cry, see, here go the problem with them. Okay, they close your company. You stand at the door. Open the door, open the door. The company's closed. You got to open back up. Get some more investors. Open your company. Could it be that all he wants you to do is go, wow, it's been great, been some years. Walk up the hall. Could it be that there's a different door that he wants you to go through that was better than the door that got shut in your face. It's really, you have to live your life in the expectation of wonderful things happen. God is a merciful God. He didn't bring you this far to leave you. He didn't set you up to fail. You're tripping. You're tripping, man. He only wants to progress his children. That's all he want to do. Even if you're wrong, he forgives us. Just keep moving, man. It ain't nothing. It, this thing right here, really, man, you, you got to look. So many good things have happened to me. Now, look, I was having some painful moments in this like you. But, hey, I look, I look for the bright side, man. I expect something good to happen. I'm back at work. Uh, I don't know what he was doing, but he have made a move for me because I ask him to all the time. And then I just sit in expectation and wait and see what he got for me. Because he got something for me. People, somebody asked me a question the other day. If you could go back to any period in your life, what, what period would you go back to? I ain't ever had it this good. <laughs> this is the best of my life ever been. <laughs> you got to be nuts. Man, you wouldn't want to be 25 again? Are you kidding me? The 25-year-old dude that was me? I'm so glad that idiot is gone. No. 63 years old, man. It's the best my life ever been. You know what I'm saying? But that's the scripture, though. If you honor me, your latter days will be greater. So all I do, I just honor him, and he's going to he gonna keep shining on me. I got to figure it out. I ain't even worried. 2020 was a rough year. Some of another kid said, 2020, man, this has got to be the roughest year of our lives. I got news for you. This ain't even close. This ain't even close to the roughest year of my life, partner. <laughs> I got some years. He said, you've had a worse year than this? Then he started naming all the stuff. Kobe Bryant died. Hold up, dog. My mama died. <sighs> you was hurt when Kobe died. So my mama left this earth. <laughs> I like Kobe. We was boys. It was huge. But that wasn't bigger than my mama dying, though. <laughs> Let me tell you something, boy. <laughs> I, th I thought they was going to have to take me up out of here, boy, when that girl left. 
because I was mad. Doctor said, I don't think your mother's going to make it. I said, well, cool. You ain't either. <laughs> that was my first reaction. Your mama ain't going to make it. You ain't either. That's the dude I was at 40. You ain't gonna, my mama ain't going to make it. I tell you what. Why are you in here talking to me? You better get in here and get to doing something because if she don't make it, you ain't either. And me and my brothers was dead serious. They was dead serious. We going to kill him. That stupid ass one, yeah. <laughs> my oldest brother said, we going to kill him. Me and my brother said, yeah. My father came in there and said, y'all ain't got nothing to do with this. That's my wife. I ain't going to kill him. What you going to kill him for? That's a crazy conversation, ain't it? Well, God changed people, so sure glad he changed me. All right, come on.